So that's going to be a little video on bush honeycomb, okay? Um, that's a really great little recipe. It's very simple, but once you know it, it's brilliant, okay? The good thing about it is the ingredients don't go off, all right? Because essentially it's just sugar and bicarb. So it doesn't matter how long you've got those ingredients in storage, you'll still be good to go for So good for long trips. Um, good one to do with the kids, be a little bit safety conscious with it because it is melting sugar. Uh, obviously, that'll burn you pretty nasty. Hold it up. But I'll set up a little camp and, and we'll do it. Really fun. Beautiful day. I mean, I found this little sort of overhang. Uh, so I'm just set up camp here. So this is my basic setup. All right. And again, not that, not really that much stuff. Um, just a little bit of a day hike. But um, I'm gonna use canteen cup uh, and a hobo stove. You can use whatever billy can, frying pan, even. Pretty much anything's gonna work. Um, there's your basic ingredients, and you need some kind of clean area, like a plate or um, you know a lid of a billy can. Whatever you've got. Um, I'm just using a bit of baking paper. Um, so here we go. Right. So. Here's your basic ingredients, right? So you've got sugar and you've got bicarb. Okay, that's, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna add in a little bit of honey, which gives it a little bit of flavor, right? You could add other things in there, like, uh, you know, golden syrup's a good one, molasses even. Uh, you can use white sugar, you can use brown sugar, maybe not icing sugar. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna melt this sugar and honey and we're gonna make a toffee, all right? We don't wanna take that toffee too far, make it too dark because it'll burn and then it would taste that great okay and my little ratio for bicarb to sugar is one spark all right of bicarb this is just your regular bicarb to about this much sugar all right and um, you might want to try and work out your ratio at home before you do it uh, out in the field because what happens if you add too much of bicarb it ends up salty and yucky all right also if you don't add enough bicarb it ends up flat uh, kind of like uh, just like plain toffee like just plain melted sugar so to get the magic to work you have to get the ratio right okay so I would suggest you play around with your spork and your cup and all that kind of stuff uh, at home and get your ratio right and then try it out in the field okay um, so there you go pretty, pretty simple setup um, I'll fire up the stove and show you it's a neat little trick Okay, so got my hobo up and working, got my hobo stove working. Just gotta melt that sugar. Alright, gotta keep it moving around a little bit because if it burns, it will not taste that good. You know, I think you're too hot, just take it off, you know. It's all good. Okay, so that's what we need. Just one more second on the heat and I'll be ready. So see all the sugar's melted. All right, let's try not to get any lumps of sugar in there. But that's pretty much ready to go. And then you have to be careful not to burn it. Okay, here goes in with the bicarb. Yeah, give it a good mix. Get it mixed in there. Let's come out into a clean area. It's not bad. Excellent. Alright, so there's the finished honeycomb. So I just need to let it cool for a little bit. Alright, until it goes hard. Just move it away from the fire a little bit. Okay, um, so that's pretty successful honeycomb. We'll see how it tastes in a minute. Um, with your pot, so your pot will probably be pretty messy. Alright, save what you can. Then to clean it, just boil it. Get some water in there. Just put it back on the stove and boil it and because it's sugar it'll just melt and it'll clean really easily all right all right so that's what you want it's hardened up so what we can do we can just start to break it up use a knife whatever There you go, there's your honeycomb. 
beautiful. So I'll just use this paper to wrap it up. It's a nice little uh, bite sized portions to take on the trail. Bob's your uncle, Vanny's your aunt. It worked out pretty good really. That's the spot man, does the job. <laughs> 